Today I want to talk about the confidence that it takes to be successful whether you're doing YouTube, whether you're doing Facebook Lives or any type of video marketing as a whole. Hey guys, my name is Salem City and welcome to my YouTube channel. You know, usually as a beginner, um, I remember my, my days when I was starting, you know, I used to be rather shy. Hey, uh, this is yours truly, Salem, back at it again. We're here, actually, I'm here in Dublin, uh, all the way in Ireland, Dublin. So I was born in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We speak French over there. When I came to America and I had to learn English, it was a rather tough process, really, uh, because when I came in, I was about 13 years old when I came in. So French and Lingala, Kikongo were other some of the languages that I spoke when I was in the Congo and those became a big identity of who I was. So learning English was not as easy as it would be for someone who came here when they were two or three or as an infant. So it was rather difficult, you know, and during that process when I was in school, I got bullied a lot. And why is this relevant to confidence uh, as doing a video? I remember when I was in middle school, I got, I was, I went through a period of time in middle school and high school where I was bullied. You know, people used to make fun of me because of the accent that I used to have, because of the perception that some people might have had of me and, you know, maybe my self-perception of who I was and how I looked like, you know, I didn't think I looked pretty enough. I didn't think all these different things that played a role in the fact of me being in front of a camera, me speaking to friends or even being able to speak in public or in the areas. Uh, today people may see me as someone who's constantly on social media or some of you guys who are seeing me now as I'm being more regular on YouTube uh, may think, oh man, my Salem is very confident to speak, but it wasn't always the case. You know, there was a time where it was difficult. I still remember one time my mom told me, hey, have more eye contact when you're speaking because it always seems like you're you're avoiding the camera you're shy you're looking away and that was kind of like based on the fact that the time where i wasn't so confident in myself the reason why i want to tell you the story is i want to be able to also be able to relate to some of you guys who might feel shy you might have a gift a talent you might have something to say and you're afraid that the world no one will listen or you're afraid that people will laugh at you if you come out you're afraid that you know maybe no one is going to watch the stuff i put out you should not be doing video marketing youtube or facebook live or any video related content only for the sole purposes of waiting for people's response or waiting for people's acceptance or waiting for other people's approval you should do it because you believe enough in the message you want to share. You believe enough in the talent that you want to share and you want to showcase that to the world. Whether it might be, you know, you might have a product that you've made and you want people to share you know, or you're using videos as a way to, you know, just showcase your life or as a vlogger or you're doing this as a business. You know, you might have stage fright and you want to use this as a way to be able to share to a bigger public without necessarily speaking in front of, uh, in front of larger crowds you know, uh, live. Well, the reality is believe in your message. First of all, have a message you want to share, right? That's very important. I think one understood the message that I had. And for me personally, you know, God played a big role in my life. And I wanted to share how much he had played a big role in my life. What are some of the things I've, I learned and I'm learning while on this journey with him. That was the biggest thing for me to be able to share that. And along the way, I started to share as well some other things that I've learned. You know, whether it might have been at work, whether it might have been at school, whether it might have been in a relationship, whether it might have been in life. And that's one of the things I want to be able to tell you. Once you have your message, believe in your message. Can you associate your name with the message you're talking about? That is quite important. Another way to also build confidence is be in a comfortable environment. You know, some of you guys have watched some of my videos and see that, you know, recently I'm doing these in this setting. I mean, this is my room and it's a relatively comfortable environment. I can control the setting of the videos. Sometimes I, I do more outgoing videos when I'm outdoor, I'm vlogging. I remember it wasn't easy. First of all, the first time I decided to vlog outside, you know, having a camera because I was wondering, like, how would people look at me with this guy walking around with a camera facing him? And, you know, and then I thought to myself, many of these people who are looking at me right now would not be there when I'm going to be editing the video. They're not going to be there when I'm going to be posting the video. And they're definitely not going to be there when you're going to be watching this video. You know, so I had to overcome their opinion of how maybe ridiculous I might have looked, you know, holding a camera and looking at myself to 
being confident enough so that I can be able to share the message I want to share with you and so that I can be able, um, you can be able to enjoy whatever, you know, I might have been showcasing at the time. So that was very important, overcoming the opinion of what others might think of you on the spot to be able to actually go ahead and share your message. Another thing also that's helped me overcome the confidence is getting small wins. What do I mean by small wins? The first thing for me, first of all, when I started for videos was not for the overall public. I just wanted to share some stuff with friends. I remember I would spend some time and speaking with some friends would, you know, I remember there were times I was speaking with some friends and I would give them advice or I would give them, um, I remember I would spend, see I remember I would spend some time with friends and I would give them an advice or how to do something and they would do it and they would be so happy that I was able to show them how to do it correctly. I thought to myself, wow, this is so powerful and there, there came a time where I would repeat myself so many times and I said, okay, okay, instead of repeating to everybody the same thing, let me just make a video where I can send it to this person when they want me to explain, what is your opinion on this? Well, tell them, how do you do this? When it's made into a video and I can send it to John or Emily and I can send it to Mark or pa Paula or send it to Chris, by doing so, I wouldn't have to repeat myself every single time. And that's really where it started. I usually utilize video as a mean to communicate and that helped me tremendously. Um, so that was a small win and that went and just kind of started gradually progressing into bigger wins. I remember when I first got started to do more Facebook lives and you know, if you go to Facebook and just type Salem Sunny, you can be able to ask me as a friend. I'm always open to <laughs> anybody and also our Amazing Love Movement Facebook page. You can also get connected there where we post a lot of content about uh, Amazing Love and the series that we do on there. I remember when I first got started and I was starting to do Facebook Lives, my first thing was, okay, would anybody even come live and listen to me? And I said, you know what, the first goal would be to get one person to come, right? So that I'm not just speaking to myself. And I remember when I began, I used to kind of wait to see what people get on. And then I remember some of these videos get saved as the Facebook Live will eventually get saved as a video and be rebroadcasted later. So instead of me waiting the first minute, two, three minutes to wait for someone to get on, let me just start with my point and eventually someone will come on. To the point where I started doing more often, I said to myself, I'm gonna just kill the fear, kill the jitters of no one coming on and just go ahead and basically think like I'm doing a unedited YouTube video. And then by doing so, it created more confidence and more and more people started coming on to Facebook Lives and that created some success by having small wins. So the first win was to get one person on. The second win was for me was to not wait to see a person get on to begin with the video. Once I overcame that fear, I got one person on and I just kept going and going. And you know, I remember I really started feeling confident after doing 30 Facebook Lives. I was like, okay, I kind of got an idea of like the setting looking at the camera, uh, not necessarily waiting for people's reaction, um, taking their comments and using those as the topic for future videos. So that really was the, the, the big message and I think that this can be also helpful for you. Um, take small wins and help those help you to creating more confidence in who you are. Don't wait for you to get you know one million views then to know that your point matters or what you have to share is of value. The fact that one person is watching your video. The fact that you can share and your friends enjoy your video, that alone is a win. Take that and build up on that. So I hope this can be helpful for you. Uh, the small tips on how I personally was able to really create confidence in making videos as a beginner. I believe God is also utilizing this platform as a way to impact other people. And I think that overall is a big message for me to be able to positively impact people around the world. That has always been my goal. And uh, let that also be something to you. Have your message, be confident, be confident in who you are, take small wins, and let that help you get towards the goals and the plans that you might have. Remember, and never forget this, you're God's very best. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.